Hello everybody, I'm Sanji. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, thank you so much. I appreciate you checking me out. For those of you that have been here before, welcome back. Thank you so much for your support. I definitely appreciate it. Alrighty, so real quick off the bat, what we do around here, number one, if you haven't subscribed already, please check me out, watch the video, and hopefully you will do so. After subscribing, and for those of you who already have, if you haven't hit that little bell yet, please hit the bell so that you will know when I, not when I upload new content, you will receive a notification. Also, second thing we do around here, we comment on the video. You check it out, you see what it's about, and then you give your two cents on the topic, whatever it is. The only thing I ask is that we're respectful of everybody, me included, <laughs> that you voice your opinions, even if you don't agree with me. But of course, as always, we keep things peaceful and on a high vibration around here, everything positive. But that doesn't mean that you can't give be a straight shooter. We just ask that you are respectful of everyone around you in the community. And third, if you have some other things that you would like to see done, or of course, I ask you to, you know, let me know what you would like for me to do a video about, but also share the video with others so that you can have comprehensive conversations with those around you. Like, let's get it talking. Let's everybody talk about what's going on out there. And that's it, okay? And fourth, of course, come back for the next video. Alrighty, so the business is out of the way. What are we talking about today? Well, today it is finally here. I have gotten so many emails and requests from different people saying, what about the cuspers? Do something on the cusp. So, it is now your time to shine, Zodiac Cuspers. This video series is for you. So, when you are a person that is considered a cusp. What is that? Well, everybody has some inner conflict. That's just what it is that's going on. That's part of being human, the human experience. However, for a cusper, they feel as though they're caught between two zodiac signs and inner conflict feels like a part of their DNA. Now, the definition of a cusp sign is a birthday that falls on the time when the sun leaves one zodiac sign and enters into another. So, in general, you are on the cusp if you're born about three days before or three days after the change in a sun sign. And you'll know you're a cusper, or you'll feel like you relate to this because you possess personality traits from both signs, from the sign, your, your sun sign, your definite sun sign, but also some lingering traits from the neighboring sign, okay? Now, if you were born on the cusp, all right, you may technically be, you are definitely whatever that sun sign is, it's absolute. If it says that you're a cancer, so to speak, then you're a cancer. But for a cusper, they feel more like a Leo, all right? Or, here's another strong example. If you're a lovely, lovely diplomatic Libra, that's the sun sign that you have. However, you've got some stinger and some bite in you, then you kind of feel like a Scorpio. Now, typically people that have those, again, three days before or three days after the sun has entered into the new zodiac sign. So now being born on the cusp can give you a variety of qualities that can be a blend of sunshine and in different ways, a little bit of hell, <laughs> okay? People sometimes have a hard time figuring you out because you don't exactly fit the mold of what your sunshine should be. Now, learning about both the blessings and the curses of your cuss sign can help you embrace your interesting 
and sometimes kind of complicated self, all right? Now, cusps are controversial in the astrological world, all right? Just face it. There are astrologers that won't touch it. They don't believe in it. They say that the astrology is an absolute science. The numbers add up, so there's no such thing as a cusper. However, if you insist that you connect with qualities from your neighboring sign, then it's likely that you are inexplicably a cusper. That's just who you are. You are a heavy blend of both zodiac signs, and if that's how you feel, then that's what you are, and this video is for you. So, how does this whole cusp thing affect? Who are these people? What are they like? Do you have a cusper in your life? Well, I'm gonna finally explain some general qualities you might find going on with your cusper. Stay tuned. Let's jump right in. Hello, Taurus, Gemini, Cusper. This is your time to shine. All right, so let's get into it. Taurus, Gemini, Cusp, you were born May 17th through the 23rd, and you are both physically strong and mentally agile. You were born on the cusp of energy, all right? Now, this cusp personality traits are the best of both worlds. That's right, you've got the best of both worlds. You're ambitious and grounded, smart and humble, creative and versatile. So, there you have it. Was I kidding? No, you've got the best of both worlds. This cusp feels the influence of friendly, sensual Venus coming through Taurus, as well as the quick and outgoing nature that comes through the influence of Mercury and the Gemini. Now, you're a great communicator, and you can talk to anyone about anything most of the time. That's just who you are. You are a master at it. And you're also loving, clever, clever and quick-witted. So you, but here's the thing. Because you are such a great talker, sometimes you're not the best listener. Yeah, all right, now conversation comes easily for you and you can always think of something interesting to say or something fun to do. As I said, you're just mentally agile, so you're there, you're on it, you're here, and you've solved it. You, you have something to say. Your quick-wittedness comes into play more often than not, which lightens the load in most situations, so you're just a lot of fun to talk to and be around, okay? You are likely to enjoy going to delicious restaurants, uh, fun concerts, or on hot, passionate dates. That's what that is. <laughs> My research is about you, all right? However, long nights can lead to long days for you, Taurus, Gemini, Cuz, so you have to be careful of burning your candle at both ends. You're energetic, not invincible. So you wanna make sure that you pepper your life and all that fun with some balance, all right? Now being born Taurus Gemini, you're a smooth talker, as I said, and you bring the fun with you everywhere you go. That's just who you are. You have skills and charisma that other people would love to have. They envy that about you because you more times than not light up a room when you enter it, okay? You just have to remember that when you're in the presence of other people that you give other people the chance to shine. Got it? Mm. Okay, enough said. All right, now independence is important to you, all right? 
and you are hardworking and want to be acknowledged for your hard work. You are a go-getter. You like to have things your way and you are willing to do what it takes to get it done. The boundless youthful energy you have has to be channeled, however, and focus. But once you focus in on what your target is and what you want, you will go to whatever those lengths are because you are the energetic one to make it happen, lest you begin to feel scattered, jittery, and anxious. So it's important for the Taurus Gemini that although you're focused on what your target goal is, that you pace yourself. So you don't want to burn yourself out. Now you're a fierce romantic, yes, and you love bonding with others through fun dates and passionate sex. So there you have it. It's not any other sign. It is the Taurus Gemini cusp. If you are looking for some passionate, fun sex, ta-da! <laughs> it's you guys. Alrighty. You're adventurous in your relationships and you need a partner who can keep up with you and communicate with you both verbally and physically at your pace level. Yeah, you guys got a lot of energy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Note to self, need a Taurus Gemini. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Moving right along. Fire signs will definitely keep things adventurous and playful with you. However, air signs are pros at the communication and they will be able to keep up with you and connect with you on both the lighter levels with your light and airy side and your deeper levels, which comes in as far as the Taurus concerns. So, you know, I'm sure that all the air signs would love to have a good time with Taurus Gemini Cusp, but if you're out there dating and you're wondering who will get you the most, those are a couple of tips that might help you. Don't rule anybody out though, cause you're energetic, so <sighs> that's another video. We're gonna move on. <laughs> Alrighty, so Taurus, Gemini, Cuspers, you live life to its fullest. If anyone watching this video hasn't caught on to that by now. Yes, the Taurus, Gemini, Cusp lives life to its fullest and you enjoy all the experiences that life has to offer, that's what you wanna do. You're out in the mix, you want to enjoy it all, and you do, all right? You're the person people call when they want to have fun or have a good conversation. They call you. You're adaptable and you get along well with most people. That's just who you are, which I thought was so fascinating because when you think about it, a Taurus Gemini cusp person kind of comes across with a lot of Sagittarian traits about them. The adventure, the fun, uh, sometimes you can be a little high, strong, and reckless, which is another fire sign kind of quality. So you, you read to other people who may not know you as though you're a fire sign because of the energy that you have, but you're not. You are a Taurus Gemini cusp. So, what advice do I have for you fun, loving, out there, adventurous, living life, living your absolute best life every day, which is what you try to do? Well, I mentioned it before, you might want to work on your listening skills, okay? Don't forget that within you, the best of both worlds, you have a slow, and patient side that's also very valuable to who you are and to the people in your life. So don't forget to tap into that side of you as well, all right? You're constantly charged up and ready to move. That's just who you are naturally. But you must remember that not every situation calls for that. 
Not every situation calls for the fire off immediately. Some situations require moderation, all right? And now, while moderation might sound not sound that appealing to you most times, if you balance your go, 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 go nature with a little bit of slowing down and pacing yourself every once in a while, you will begin to notice that you are more present in the moment when things are happening, okay? And you'll find that <clears throat> there is a more helpful and happy nature within the circumstance that you're in. So don't be so busy going through the experience that you forget to feel the experience, okay? So that's my advice to you. Confront your own inner insecurities that sometimes Taurus, Gemini's cuspers suffer with and strive for the forgiveness in yourself for those moments when you were so busy going, going, going that you stopped, you forgot to stop and smell the roses, so to speak. So forgive yourself, forgive the others around you, take it in stride, life happens, move forward. Remember, balance fun times with rest and peace and quiet and you will find that overall the quality of your life will improve greatly. But, so there you have it, you know, Taurus Gemini, I'm not mad at you at all. You know, I love that you are living your best life. I love that about you. I think more of us could definitely uh, take that into consideration and live our lives that way as well. You're definitely an inspiration. So, kudos to you. Just remember, balance, rest, peace and quiet, pace yourself. Don't forget to incorporate those gems into your lifestyle as well. Alrighty, so do you know a Taurus Gemini customer? Do they read as a fire sign to you too? They just did to me, I don't know why. Um, if so, or are you a Tim Taurus Gemini customer and you want to tell me how you go about living your absolute best life? Well, leave it in my comment section below. Don't be afraid to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I definitely appreciate when you guys do that. Alrighty, so until next time, I'm Sanji. See you in the comment section and take care until the next video. Bye-bye.